Shipping a small painting can be a hassle, but with the right amount of preparation and supplies, it doesn't take too much effort. I have all these different supplies here. I usually keep these in a filing cabinet, but basically you need a scale and some labels to print your postage out on. I'll talk about how you can get these envelopes for free. And you can buy cardboard like this, or I often cut down the boxes that I get in the mail. And these are nine by 12 inches, and they fit within these envelopes. I have business cards and some masking tape. So in this video, I'll show you how to use all these supplies to package and ship my small paintings. It works for five by sevens and eight by tens. And there's also a box that you could fit a nine by 12 canvas into instead of using an envelope like this. So this is an eight by 10 canvas panel. And this bag is made to fit eight by 10 photographs or paintings. It's a little bit bigger than eight by 10. And that gives you a little more room to fit a thicker panel in there. So there is a resealable edge on here and here's the opening. So I like to have the painting facing outwards so the flap is on the back. So I'll just slide this in here. Then I have this little invoice that I include in there. It's part of Daily Paintworks. They have a little feature where you can click on it and it'll print it out for you. I also throw a couple of business cards in there. So you just remove this little strip and there's adhesive on here. A little bit of pressure and that'll seal it. So here's the painting in the bag and I have the flap on the back so it just looks a little bit cleaner. For the next step I usually wrap it in newspaper but I don't want to have all the advertising in my video so I'm using just plain interleaving paper. You could use newsprint like a plain newsprint pad would work pretty well. I cut that down a little bit there was too much paper. Next I have these pieces of cardboard and that fits inside the envelope that I use. Now the reason why I tape some paper to this is so that I can tape this down to the cardboard without ruining the painting or the bag. I like to fold over a little tab on the end so it's easier to pull this tape off like that. So you can just take that and pull that right off. What this cardboard does is it protects all the edges and the corners. So if this gets dropped, it'll be the cardboard that takes the beating. I use priority mail from the United States Postal Service. You can use whatever service you want, but there's a few benefits to this. One of them being that you can get these envelopes for free. If you go to the USPS website, you can order whatever envelopes you prefer. I get the priority mail padded envelopes. There's a pack of 10 or 15 and they cost nothing. So they'll ship it right to your house and you don't have to shop for these in a store or anything like that. And they also have boxes in case you have thicker paintings and it won't really fit into a, a padded envelope like that. So I take this whole package and I put it inside the envelope and there's another resealable edge and you just press that flap down, apply some pressure to seal it, and then you have to weigh it. When I actually ship, I go through the Pirate Ship website. You can use the USPS website if you want. I prefer this because it's very simple and easy to use. So you just click on create a label. All right, so here's one of the neat little features is if you have this paste address, you can copy and paste the address from like PayPal or wherever you get the address from. So I made up this fake name here just for demonstration purposes. If I just paste that in there, it populates it into all these different fields. So that saves a little bit of time every time you ship a painting. From here, you scroll down and you pick the packaging. So let's find it. Okay, here it is. Priority mail, flat rate envelope. So you just enter the weight, 10.1 ounces, and then click get rates. I changed the address to San Francisco, California, and it only cost $8.75, and that includes $100 insurance. So what you would do is hit buy a label, which I'm not gonna do because I'm not actually shipping this. And then you get a PDF, which you can print out, or you can print it directly from this interface. So once you have your PDF, you can just print it out to a label printer. And I just have a black and white laser printer. It's kind of a hassle once this printer breaks, I'm going to upgrade to one of the ones that I list in the description. They're much easier to use. Some of them are actually wireless and you can print a label out very quickly. If you have just a regular printer though, you could just buy sheets of label stock. The stuff I use is listed in the description. This is my black and white laser printer. There's a bypass tray in the front. Here's the label stock. There's two labels per sheet and I usually check it to make sure I got the right side facing up. It just goes in this slot. 
And there's my label. You just peel it off, stick it down to the envelope, and you're pretty much done. Now the cool thing is, is you can schedule a pickup and you just go in here and hit schedule a pickup. And then there's a button over here that says request pickup. And then you would just fill this out. You pretty much just have your pickup location, where the package will be left and how much it weighs approximately. Another option is you can drive to the post office. And since you already paid for the postage, you don't have to wait in line. You just walk up to the counter and hand it to them and they'll take it for you. You can also track the package from within pirate ship. It shows a map of where it's going to and what stage it's in. If you click on the clipboard, it'll copy the tracking number to your clipboard, and then you can send that to your collector. So that's pretty convenient too. So that's basically all there is to shipping a painting. If you found this useful, you might want to consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell.